A state of emergency has been declared in Liberia as the death toll from the Ebola crisis continues to increase. The state of emergency is to last for a period of 90 days, during which all-out efforts will be made to curb the further spread of the infectious disease. Out of the four countries affected by Ebola, the death toll in Liberia has been rising the fastest. On Wednesday, Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirdeef declared a state of emergency, saying the scale of the epidemic poses a threat to state security. The move comes as health workers in West Africa have appealed for urgent help in controlling the world's worst Ebola outbreak as the death toll has climbed to 932. Also on Wednesday, Nigeria's health minister said that Nigeria is also amidst a national emergency after five more cases were confirmed and a second person died from the disease. The Nigerian government has revealed that the latest victim of the Ebola crisis was one of the nurses that treated Liberian Ebola victim, Patrick Sayer. The Liberian government consultant died of Ebola last week in the Lagos hospital. And a nurse has become the first known Nigerian to die of the virus. The news was confirmed on Wednesday by Nigeria's Minister of Health, Oyabuchi Chuku, in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. Many locals are now ready to face the highly contagious virus. Uh, I have instructed my children that wherever they go, if they shake, they must make sure they wash their hands. Uh, and they should uh, tidy up everywhere, unlike before when we have not had of the disease. Earlier this week, Nigerian Health Minister disclosed that 70 people who had been contacted with the Liberian are currently under surveillance. Eight of them are set to be in quarantine. The minister told reporters that five other cases are currently being treated at the isolation ward in Lagos. Fears are rising that Ebola could be declared a global crisis after a Saudi man died at a hospital in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, marking the first Ebola death outside of the four affected countries. The outbreak of the worst case of Ebola in 14 years has raised international alarm after cases have been reported outside the worst hit areas of Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. The health ministry in Saudi Arabia is on high alert after men suspected of contracting Ebola during a recent trip to Sierra Leone died on Wednesday. Saudi Arabia has already suspended pilgrimage visas from West African countries, which could prevent those hoping to visit Mecca for the Hajj in early October. This is CNC World, a new perspective.